The next section is prospect slash program. Here you can create one or more prospect sheets and work programs for your application. Enter a prospect name and click on add prospect. Complete the details of the prospect sheet. Select the blocks that are relevant for this prospect sheet. Note you can only select the blocks that have been entered in the company slash blocks section of your application, so if any are missing, go back and add them. You can upload your map, seismic section and cross section images slash diagrams by clicking on choose file. Optional summary map sheets can also be added and the image uploaded in the same way. Complete the rest of the prospect details. Clicking on next page will either take you to the next prospect or work program or return you to the prospect slash program overview page. To add a work program, click on add work program, select the blocks that are relevant and complete the rest of the details. Please refer to the guidance for further details when completing your prospect sheets and work programs. Complete the rest of the work program details. The next section is Appendix A. Please refer to the guidance and complete the details requested. Click on Calculate Totals to update totals. On most pages you can click validate application slash hide validation to show or hide errors on the current page. Errors are shown with the red cross icon. The next section is Appendix B. Please refer to the guidance for further details on what information is required for the Appendix B document. Click on Upload File to upload your Appendix B. Select the blocks relating to the Appendix B you have uploaded using the drop down provided. Additional area section Appendix B documents may be attached to your application by repeating this process. The next section is Appendix C. Please refer to the guidance and complete the details requested. Additional questions are sometimes shown as you respond to each question. Before proceeding to the submit section, there are a couple of ways you can check your application. At any time. Whilst preparing your application you can click on PDF Preview on the left hand side. This provides a printer friendly view of your application and is an easy way to check you have entered all the details you want correctly. In addition to validating the current page using the validate application slash hide validation facility, you can also validate the entire application by clicking on Error Summary. Any errors that are found are shown on the Error Summary listing. Clicking on an error hyperlink navigates you to the page containing the error. There. Errors are usually marked with a red cross icon. When you are happy you have entered your application correctly you can proceed to the Submit section. Here there is a button allowing you to preview the application PDF again and give everything one last check. If you are ready to submit your application formally, click on the Submit button. If there are any validation errors remaining, you will automatically be taken to the error summary page. Clear any errors you may have before navigating back to the Submit section. Then click the Submit button again to start the submission slash payment process. Please note, you must complete the payment process to formally submit the application. Until payment is made, the department has not yet received your application. From the payment page you can pay immediately using a credit slash debit card, or alternatively select another method of payment. We recommend payment by card, to avoid delays in processing your application. To pay by credit slash debit card, enter your card billing details. Choose an email address you would like your payment confirmation to be sent to. Click on the Pay Now button to proceed. You are now taken to the RBS World Pay Secure Payment page. 
RBS World Pay are our authorized online payments agent. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to enter your credit slash debit card details. When your payment is authorized, you will be presented with the transaction successful page. You are also sent a payment confirmation email. If you are unable to complete your card payment, either use the cancel options provided or simply log in and try again. From the transaction successful page, click the return to the portal button to be returned to your application. You will note that a reference the department's official tracking reference has now been assigned indicating the application is received and accepted. The application will remain in your work basket for the duration of the licensing round in a read-only form. Whilst the round is still open, you have the facility to prepare draft application updates and then submit them formally. Simply click on Update Application from the work basket, then update and submit your application as before. Submission of updates is free. No further card payments are required. Remember your draft updates are not seen by the department. Updates must validate and be formally submitted to be accepted. Remember to get your updates submitted before the round close deadline.